Margaret Brennan in Washington, and this week on Face the Nation, as we begin the last week before Election Day, there is a stark contrast between the candidates on the realities of coronavirus and breaking overnight five aides to Vice President Mike Pence test positive for the virus, including his chief of staff. Campaign 2020 has finally entered the home stretch. With President Trump barnstorming the battleground states. His strategy? Downplay the virus and play up to his crowds of supporters. Well, we have 10 days and, uh, you know, nothing worries me. But in Florida, we're doing very well. North Carolina, doing very well. But the COVID 19 situation across America is definitely not going well. Friday saw a new record of nearly 84,000 new cases, and experts say that will soon get higher. You know why we have cases? Because we test so much. And in many ways, it's good. And in many ways, it's foolish, okay? This country and their reporting systems are really not doing it right. It's all I hear, turn on television, right? COVID, 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 COVID. By the way, on November 4th, you won't hear about it anyway. For former Vice President Joe Biden, it's a much different scene and a much different sense of reality. Do what you do. Democrats now do socially distanced drive-in campaign rallies with cars honking instead of chants of support. He's given up. He's quit on you. He's quit on your family. He's quit on America. There's going to be a dark winter ahead unless we change our ways. All because this president cares more about the stock market than he does you. Because he refuses to follow the science. We'll talk with National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien about that new White House coronavirus outbreak and the revelation from top intelligence officials that Russia and Iran have interfered in the election. We'll take a look at where the race stands with just nine days until Election Day. As Americans vote early in record numbers, we'll hear from Arkansas Republican Governor Asa Hutchinson and the Democratic Mayor of Kansas City, Missouri, Quentin Lucas. Plus, we'll talk to former FDA Commissioner Dr. Scott Gottlieb and in our focus group, voters reflect the parallel reality of the coronavirus. The virus is the virus. It's so small. It's, it's going to do what viruses do. You can't get on television, no matter who you are, and say, take bleach and you were just kidding. That's nothing to kid about. It's all just ahead on Face the Nation. Welcome to Face the Nation. As we come on the air this morning, more than 58 and a half million Americans have already voted. Meanwhile, there are alarming new records being set when it comes to cases of coronavirus here in the U.S. Experts say we are facing an increasingly bleak outlook for the virus in the next few months. We begin today with CBS national correspondent Mark Strassman in Atlanta.